what's up guys it's me and welcome back to their minecraft video today we are gonna try to get everything sorted and then start exploring the nether so the first thing i want to do is obviously get my stuff back because the end of last episode i died i think i'm gonna do the same mining strategy i had last episode where is my gravestone oh my god it's all the way over there that's gonna be annoying how am i gonna hmm to figure out how i'm gonna get over there I think I'm just gonna start mining from here. Like I said earlier in this, oh, some lava. How am I gonna get over there? I guess I'll just try to mine from above and then mine down the side. After I pick up my stuff, I wanna just go exploring down in a mine, looking at my map, see if I can find a dungeon so I can get a saddle. And after I get the saddle, I'm gonna tame a rock so I can fly around looking for structures. And hopefully I can find the lotto men or something like that because that'd be so useful. I think the lotto men are like the most useful entities in Advent of Ascension and they give you so much. I also want to find like the nethergenic beast spawner because I know that that spawner can drop the nethergenic armor which is really good. Because right now I'm like, uh, what armor do I have? I think I only have like standard diamond which is not that good. Alright, I'm underneath. We have to be very careful because I think I can hear one of the those guys right here. Alright, how am I going to do this? The second I break this, everything's gonna fall through, so maybe I can like try to build around it so nothing can come out as quickly. All right, this is not safe at all. How am I gonna do this? Right, I'm hoping this little thing I have set up here will work. And if I die, I can just come right back here, so it's not that big a deal. Oh my God, that was just a piece of dirt. You've gotta be kidding me. All right, I'll grab some netherrack. No, okay, now I want there to be fire around here. That's just not good. Maybe I should have brought a sword. Oh, I'm gonna die. Right, how am I gonna do this without getting my stuff burned? I think I'm just gonna have to break it. I think that's my only chance. All right, hopefully I don't lose everything. Oh my, it's all up there. Huh. How am I gonna grab it now? It's all up. up. Is that everything? I don't know. Hopefully nothing went in the fire there. Is that a baby? How many of these things are there? I'm really hoping nothing went in that fire. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna... Dragons rock! Tyrants in the sky! Man, that's not gonna be nice. Oh no! Now that, that complicates things, because the dragons and lycanites are very, very strong. And I don't really have that good stuff. I have, like, only iron. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Man, I'm already all out of storage. I have to fix my storage system. Right now, this is not working. I'm already full. There's one of these guys right outside my house. 156 health? Oh my god. H how do you how do you make a dragon tree? Because if it's not that hard, then maybe we can get a dragon pet instead of a rock. Dragon tree. Oh. It's emeralds. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to stick with a rock. Oh, I just realized what I'm missing. I don't have my... My, my, my miner. Oh, uh, okay. I guess I'll just make another one now. It's not that big a deal. How do, how do you make one again? I think I need a Geonac fist. And I need the iron stuff. I think it's the iron rod. Alright, here we go. Now we have the iron rod. And I don't remember what handle it was. Let's see. I think it was this. Here, iron axe head. I think this is it. So I need another three sticks. I need four iron. Alright, iron axe head. Okay, hopefully this works. Let's see. I put it like this. Put that there. Put that there. Yep. Yeah, all right. We got it. We got the same thing. Sucks. I think this is this must have fallen in the lava. At least now I have one that's for full durability. All right. What I want to do now is I just want to mine normally until I can find just a Minecraft like a standard Minecraft dungeon on the map there. Then hopefully one of those will have a saddle in it. Like I think if I look right over here on the map, right where the little arrow is pointing, I think right here there's a dungeon. Oh my gosh. That guy scared me. Where is he? Yeah, man. Oh, that, that guy dropped blaze rods, that's nice. So right here. I think there's one right here if you can see on the map. But two Junex. I just want to keep searching for a dungeon that has a saddle. Because if I get the saddle, then I can actually go and explore the nether without having to worry about dying like every second. So I'll cut to whenever I find a saddle. It might take, it might, might be a couple hours. What? I'm just mining and I got this boss bar pop up. Who, what's the abyss walker? I think, is this from chocolate quest mod? I think it may, might be. Who is this guy? Oh, get out of here. Uh, there must be a dungeon above me. That's probably why it popped up. But I can't, I can't stop right now. I see a, oh no. I see a dungeon on the mini map that I'm going for. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right in front of me, right past this cave where my arrow is pointing right here. And I'm almost there. So 
Hopefully it has a saddle in one of the chests. And if it doesn't, I think there's another one right there too. So let's hope. Ooh, it's a uh, it's a weird the weird the weird lava fish spawner. This is actually really good because this is this can be used for food. So I, I'm pretty sure this guy is actually a good food source, and they don't really attack. They might die in water. I don't know. I'm happy I found this though. Let's. What should I name it? Lava fish spawner. All right, gonna put it down here. Please have a saddle. Got a name tag. Horse armor bucket. No saddle though. Ah, <sighs> no saddle. Guess I'll keep looking. Ooh, is this amethyst? I know, I know amethyst is very, very good resource. Yes, it is. Nice. This is, this, you can make the amethyst armor, which I think is the same armor I made last season, in uh, season one. If you guys are wondering how I got so much cobblestone to build my house, this is how. There is so much from just mining, like, for five minutes. It's crazy. <gasps> it's a Raikou spawner! I think that's what these guys are called. So I can get free pet? At least that's what it seems like. Hmm. Yes, alright. I'm just gonna cover this whole spawner up. So I, I feel like I can just come here, tame, tame a Raikou, and then have it as my pet. Or I can wait here until uh, I get like a special golden one or something. Alright, let's see. I actually don't know if that's how you spell it. I have no idea how to spell it. But that's what I'm gonna put it in as, so... Saddle? No, I got more amethyst though, that's good. Dis 13? Holly top seeds? Carbon of travel, gold horse armor, no saddle for me. Alright, I guess we keep looking then. Ooh, I think I see a mine shaft. Yeah, yeah, I think this is a mine shaft on the map here. Let me mine over to it. I could find a saddle in here. If I find a saddle in here, that'd be very lucky, I'm hoping though. Yes, okay, it was a mine shaft. Hopefully, I can find myself a saddle in here. Oh, there's a ghost. Oh no, it's just here. I thought I got stuck in the cobwebs. I have to make a backpack because my inventory is getting full. I think I have backpacks in this. Yeah, yeah, we have, I have backpacks. All right. Ooh, please be saddle. No. No saddle. I'm not going to like fully explore this mine shaft like I did the other ones. I think I'm just going to cut until every time I find a chest. So I don't waste too much time doing this. What is that? What is that little thing? I killed it. Oops, well, that was weird. What is this? I just got a medium skill crystal. I don't know what that does. I mean, I guess I, I might as well use it, right? I, I, I think it it just gives me higher level skill. Oh, you need one higher than level 13. I mean, 15. Ooh, I found, a, I found another dungeon. It's a dark link spawner, I think. Oh, is there no chests? Oh, there are. <sighs> There's no chests for a second. Oh god. Darklings are actually pretty good, I think, right? Because it's like an ender pearl farm. Yeah, these guys drop ender pearls, which is nice. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! I have been searching for a saddle. I I'm not even joking. I've been searching for a saddle for 40 minutes. Oh my gosh. I am so relieved right now. I, I went through, I think, five mine shafts. That is so nice. And even though it took so long, it was definitely all worth it because look at my inventory. I have so much stuff and I already went back to dump some stuff. So that was so good. All right, how do I make an avian saddle? I think I just need feathers, right? Yeah, I just need eight feathers. All right, I'll, I think I have feathers somewhere. All right, so I need eight like this. Yes, avian saddle. Oh my gosh, it is so dangerous. What? There are so many dragons. Oh my god. There are so many dragons. This is actually insane. Why are there so many? Why did it spawn so many from the thing? I didn't think it would spawn this much. I mean, it's good if you want a dragon pet, but I can't, I can't really afford one. That's a lot of emeralds I don't, I don't have. Like, I can't mine a full tree. I'll just try to get a couple blocks. Oh my god. Man. I actually need to, I actually need to kill a couple of these. Oh yeah, I was out there by the way, because I need to make some more chests. I have zero storage right now. Next thing I need is some avian treats. And I think, if I remember correctly, it's just chicken, right? Yeah, yeah. But joust meat also works, so I'm going to go to the desert. Where is it? Desert? I'm going to get some joust meat. Actually, I, I should uh, search for a sheep. Because if I find a sheep, I can make a bed. Because I just realized I haven't made a bed. We're like... What, on episode 7 now and I still don't have a bed? Yeah, I should probably get one of those. What is that giant chicken doing? 
<gasps> Ooh, Reaper Claw. This is good, I think. I think it lets you shoot stuff. Oh, no. It's a sheer shovel and hoe. Oh, and you can shoot stuff. This is pretty good. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna make a weapon out of one of these. I have, I'm getting so many of these body parts. Oh, yeah. Also, when I was in the cave, I don't know if I'm showed it on the video i could have uh, just cut past it but i was mining and uh multiple junax spawn and i killed them and i got the junax to level two so now if i get a summoning staff i can summon them which is pretty cool i think summoning staffs are pretty cheap right i believe summoning yeah it's pretty cheap i think i can make one of those right now and that'd be really useful because then i can just summon junax whatever to help me fight in battle i'm guessing i'm probably gonna need like a stack of joust meat I wonder if one of those giant chickens drop uh, like a large amount of chicken. But they're also they also probably deal a lot of damage and they also have 100 health. If I if I if I'm about to die, I'll just teleport home, I guess. Okay. They stopped me from eating. Oh god. Mmm, that was too close. Yeah, I get aphagia. Whatever that is. Oh, and I can't move. It gives me paralysis as well. Right, that guy is pretty deadly. I guess I'll leave him alone. But look here, I'm, I'm pretty close to being able to get to summon a banshee. Because I think at level 2, which I'm almost there, I can you can summon banshees at. And I really want to summon a banshee because these guys are annoying and powerful. So, Oh, I'm halfway there for a Gru. What if you can summon nymphs? Because if you can summon nymphs, that would be pretty good because they heal you. Is it daytime yet? Yes, finally it's daytime. Alright, back to the desert. Continue the killing spree on these jousts. Right, I got 23 cooked joust meat, so hopefully this would be enough to tame one. I'm not sure, but I'm really hoping. How much is this? 16. That should be good. I think that will be enough. I'm really hoping it is, because if it's not, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't think waiting all that time until night is worth it to just get a rock, so I think I'm just going to go get the, uh, the other one from the dungeon here. Gotta break all these torches. Hopefully one spawns. Yep. One spawn. Please. Yes! Yes! Uh, pets? Pe pets? Oh, I need a soul stone. I did not know that. How does how, how do I make a soul stone? Okay, so I need one diamond, four gold, and four bones. Oh, he's right here. Yes! I'm gonna put... Ooh, I wanna put diamond armor on him. Do I have diamond horse armor? But, Wait, where did I put all the horse armor? Okay, I have a gold one here. Well, I guess he's going gold then. But the gold horse... Oh, he looks sick. I'm still gonna get a chest. I wanna put a chest on him also. Just so I can store stuff if I want to. If I have no inventory space. Just, I don't want him to die. I don't know if I can level him up or anything. Yes, I can. If I give him more avian treats, can I level him up? Is that how you do it? Maybe. How do I... How do I... I'll figure it out later. I don't wanna waste time. Okay, so four bones... I think it was one diamond. Yeah, one diamond. I have a lot of diamonds. 15, there we go. Uh, gold. One, two, three, four. Hopefully. Oh, I also need another bone, I think. Oh, I need four ender pearls and four diamonds. All right. One, two, three, four. And I have ender pearls. I know I have ender pearls. So I killed a whole bunch of those guys that drop ender pearls. All right, I think this is good. I think I can make it now. All right, let's see. One there. There we go. I got this. Please make the thing I think it should. Alright. Are we soulbound now? Yes! Yes! I got it! So then I can also dismiss it. And I can bring it back to life. I believe. Yes, so then now, if I want... <gasps> Hold on. Let's bring it outside. Uh, can it teleport to me? I wonder, how do I level up the Raikou though? I really, I really... Feel like i should know i think you can also pick things up with it right <gasps> i'm holding uh, a maca with my raku this is sick can i drop it wherever too can i just like drop it on these creepers oh i love that so much right, i need food so i'm just gonna go on a quick killing spree and i'll cut back to when i'm done oh <gasps> sheep yes oh my gosh can i actually get a bed now I've been in, I've been ha I've been in this world for such a long time and I've never gotten a bed. Nice. All right, I have, I only have six joust meat, but I'm hoping this this should be enough because I'm gonna be flying around anyway. I shouldn't waste too much hunger. So I I don't have any wood. I don't think. I'm just gonna quickly go out. All right, here we go. I'm finally gonna make a bed. That is. 
I'm gonna do it the right way. Nice. First time I got the Sweet Dreams achievement. Seven episodes in. All right. It took like what over like I think it's two episodes until I can finally get to this part where we can just explore the Nether. All right. I'm gonna try to find a safer spot to go because right now, oh no, this is the wrong way. This is not the safe spot to go. If I just walk out that front door, I'm gonna get killed immediately. Because those Kathagas are super powerful. Or pinkies or whatever. They're very strong. I'm gonna summon him right here. Can I get him? Yes. Yes. Now I can free I just fly around. I don't have to worry about getting killed. And I'm pretty sure if this guy dies, he respawns too. Since I soul bound him to me. So that's good. <gasps> Another fortress. That was quick. Well, I'm just gonna make the waypoint and get out of here. Ah. Uh, there's no time. I don't think there's anything that's actually useful for to me there because I can get blaze rods elsewhere. But what I'm really looking for is a Nevin Genic spawner. I'm really hoping I can find that one. More? Is this another fortress? Another nether fortress. Alright, I'm gonna keep on exploring and I think I'm just gonna cut to whenever I find something interesting. Ooh! I see do you guys see that on the map? What is this? This must be is that a roller coaster? Pigment base, I think. Is this like a pigment base? Oh, there's an Astroth right there. I'm just gonna make a waypoint quickly. Oh, gotta get out of here. These guys are powerful, I think. That's a cool uh, dungeon we can explore in a later episode. You know, a good idea would be maybe for one episode, like this can be like a five hour or something crazy long episode where we just go and explore and like hunt like half the dungeons or all the dungeons we found. Oh, there's a chest here. Can I just like take it? <gasps> that was worth it. That was worth it. A hundred percent. I got diamond horse armor now for my, uh, my pet. I wonder if I can name it. I got some name tags. Hopefully I can name it. That'd be, that'd be nice. Oh, you guys should tell me in the comments what, what, what I should name it. Man, these nether shrines spawn everywhere. This is like the fifth one I found. I don't think this is a normal nether fortress. This is too, this is too big. Oh, is this a lycanite? I think this is a lycanite dungeon. Oh, no. Guy shooting at my at my Raikou. That's not acceptable. We got, definitely got to explore this in another episode. Oh, that guy just fell off and died. And another one fell off and died. Sucks for them. Oh, is this another Lycanites one? I think this might be. Yeah, it is. I wonder what's what's in these. Because it looks like it's just mismatched everything without like a clear goal. So I'm pretty sure the Lycanites ones are just randomly generated. Ooh. Oh, am I, I going to die? Oh, no. Oh, my God. I thought I was about to die then. That would have not been good because I'm literally flying above lava i'm gonna swap out my pants for this one if i die they'll go away but it's fine i have a, another pair right here i still haven't found the structure i'm looking for just making sure is that even in the game it is it is what's this the nether genic call stone oh this is how you summon the boss in the nether i think yeah definitely got to do that but first we need to find the nether genic spawner or the lotto man i the nether genic spawner you need to summon the boss and do everything in this dimension but the lot of men, the lot of is just cool. <gasps> there it is. Yes. We found it. I just have to waypoint it and then get out of here. I'm going to put this right at the top because this is going to be the most important thing ever. Nevin Genic Spawner. I'm just trying to go down and see if I can grab anything. I snatched. I snatched something. I got something good. I don't know what I got, but I was it was good. Hey, that wasn't that good. Enchanted Golden Apple? That is very good. And I got some diamond armor. Don't mind if I do. And I got Maul, the best music disc. So that's nice. I think the only thing left I need to find is a Lotto Man. <gasps> Another Nether Genic Spawner. I'm lucky I found two of them. Oh, this isn't lava. I just realized on the map, it's a different color. What is this? I, I was going to go into it, but I probably shouldn't. That probably just like, killed me instantly or something. Probably not a good idea. Is there not a nether lotto man? I really thought there was a... Uh... Oh no. Is, is there not a nether... Nether lotto man? No... Okay. There might not be a nether lotto man. I... I... I actually think there's not a nether... I was just looking at the crafting recipes from Emberstone. And look at the armor you can make with it. This armor... It auto makes it so it always does fire aspect. And it's really cheap. Like, it's really cheap. I think it's the same as diamond too. Yeah, same as diamond. And it's really cheap. It's cheaper than Infernal and everything. I actually think I'm going to 
I think I should make this. But for now, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. This has been pretty productive. We got a Raku, and we found a whole bunch of structures in the nether, which is, like, perfect. Exactly what I wanted to do. We also got a bed, first time, which is also going to be pretty useful. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think I should name him, because I don't want him to just be, like, this. I, wa I want it to be, like, a cool name, but I don't know. You guys should come up with it. And I think in the next episode, we're probably going to fight Smash, the troll dude. Because to summon him, it's pretty pretty easy, I think. Troll Idol. Yeah, all you need is... Yeah, this is, yeah, this is all pretty easy. So I think I'm going to summon him in the next episode. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!